What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to set up and use the Google Home Mini. I'm gonna show you the sound quality difference between the Google Home and the Google Home Mini and some awesome features that you may not know Google Home Mini has. Now if you know anyone that has or is going to get a Google Home Mini, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Pamphlet right here and it tells you that in the back there's a mute switch. You tap right, volume up, tap left on top of the Google Home Mini, that's volume down. If you tap the middle, that's pause and play, and long press to activate Google Assistant. And I got the charcoal because uh, a lot of people highly recommend the charcoal version because when the lights illuminate, it's easier to see um, that light on a darker surface. Now, on the bottom right here, you have a rubber mat, and we have a mute switch, and micro USB. That is the power, it comes with a power adapter and the output on this power adapter is five volts, 1.8 amps. All right, so I just updated the Google Home app. Let's open it up and right away it found the Google Home Mini. If it does not find the Google Home Mini, make sure your Wi-Fi settings are activated and you're connected to your router. Let's go ahead and set it up, hit set up hit next all right it's connected i heard a chime so i hit yes the google home mini i'm going to put in the game room all right now it's going to connect to your router all right so it's now connected to your wireless router now it can communicate to your phone or your internet so if you used google assistant before and you taught google assistant already that should carry over to the google home mini yeah, Google Assistant can recognize my voice now. Let's go ahead and turn on my location. All right, confirmed my address so I can get local news and weather. I'm going to add my music services. It recognized my subscription already. Next, you can add a payment if you want to order things from Target. Also, if you um, set as a default speaker so use different speaker for music playback click on that my choosing default speaker you could choose to play on the google home mini or the google home which sounds a little bit better or actually a lot better but i'm going to choose um, this google home mini device and i'm going to show you why later on because you can actually send audio from the google home mini to your home entertainment center i'm going to show you how to do that all right your game room speaker is ready hit continue. hi i'm your google assistant I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. All right, so let's go ahead and hear the difference in audio quality first. Hey Google, play Mozart. Okay, playing Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Google Play Music. Now you notice the one that's closest to me activated. So it knows well, based off of my voice. Hey, um, hey Google, max volume. Hey Google, 50% volume. And then you can volume down. All right, so I'm gonna mute this now. And the mic's off. when the mic is off, it turns amber. So let's go ahead and test out the volume on this. Hey Google, play Mozart. All right, playing Wolfgang Amadeus. Hey Google, play Mozart on office speaker. Okay, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart from Google Play Music, playing on office speaker. Now if you guys are wondering what the heck this is, this is a battery base. It just makes it portable. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your phone to the Google Home Mini so you can play your music from your phone to the Google Home Mini. So I'm going to open up my Google Play Music. That's where I bought some songs. Alright, so now I'm playing Mozart on my phone. We're going to hit that icon on the upper right hand corner. 
and we're gonna cast it to my office speaker you can do it again click on the cast button stop it all right next I'm gonna show you how to send your audio to your um, TV your home theater setup all right so what you're gonna need to send audio or video to your home theater setup is the Chromecast. You, um, so if you're sending audio to your home theater setup, you're gonna need a Chromecast audio. But if you're gonna send audio or video to your home theater setup, you're gonna need a, just a standard Chromecast. And this is uh, the one with the HDMI. You can get this for free if you subscribe to one month uh, YouTube TV. Now if you have a standard Chromecast with the HDMI connection, what you wanna do is plug it into the TV first then you, know, you want to make sure you're using the Chromecast power adapter straight to the wall outlet because if you connect it to your TV USB port it all the features may not work properly like the, especially the HDMI control feature where it turns on your TV yes this has um, a setting where you can actually turn on your TV which is pretty cool if your TV has HDMI control set uh, feature so you, this is crucial you either use the optical audio out or an analog audio out and you want to plug that into your home theater setup or your receiver. Actually, in the back of this amplifier, it is the CD input. Then on my amplifier, I'm going to select CD. All right, make sure the volume is up. Hey, Google, play Mozart on Game Room TV. Sure, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart from Google Play Music, playing on Game Room TV. See, now it sends that command to the Chromecast. The Chromecast turns on the TV and should play through my home theater setup. Yep, and it does. Hey Google, pause. So if you guys are interested in the Google Home or the Google Home Mini, check out the link in the video description below. If you know anyone that has a Google Home or a Google Home Mini, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up and click here to subscribe to Tampa Tech or that button below. And if you want more information or how to set up your other Google products, check out this playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.